Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, this is Shaun of the Dead here. Uh, just uh, coming to you live. Well, I guess, well, I'm live right now, and this, I'm shooting this live, but uh, you're going to be seeing it as a rerun. Um, I just picked up a brand new weapon. Uh, well, new to me anyway, so if it's new to me, I call it new. Um, I picked this up off my buddy uh, 2C2. Uh, check him out if you haven't. Uh, we were shooting some videos earlier tonight. Um, he just did his uh, AR-15 uh, custom build review and his kel AR pistol review. Check those out. It's really pretty good. Um, this is a Mosin Nagant. This is a Monte Carlo stock. Um, notice on here, uh, you can see that or not, it's a Hex Star. Uh, so it's a little bit nicer uh, Mosin Nagant than your cheesy generic uh, $99 ones. It's actually a little bit better. Um, of course, picking up from 2C2, um, I'm very, very comfortable with picking up firearms from him. That action is just like butter. Um, he takes extremely, extremely good, good care of his gun. Come back. I mean, everything just slides right out of place, right in place. Um, gun's in impeccable shape. Put down the barrel. Um, for the age of the gun, it is actually in really, really, really nice shape. Um, you can see the uh, rifle really, really well. Um, it is, as you can just see, it was a, a, an extensive function check uh, with no with no bolt. So the safety check was pretty immense. Um, I've got another buddy. Uh, he uh, has a most of the gun. I got to fire his. I haven't fired this one yet. I just got this tonight. So, uh, you know, brand, brand new to me completely. Um, he had the uh, traditional wood stock. I do have the traditional wood uh, furniture for this. But I really like this Monte Carlo stock. Um, this has a, a nice uh, recoil protect, uh, buffer protection here on the butt stock. Um, that feels pretty nice. I shot the other one just straight up wood. Um, I'm a recoil junkie. I kind of like to get hit with some recoil. I like kind of feel that punch. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm doing something. I've, I've shot a gun. Um, if I don't get hit with a little something, something then it's like, eh, you know, whatever. You know, I'm shooting whatever, but um, so it wasn't horrible, but uh, I'm am very curious to see how this is going to work out. Uh, I've been talking to my local gunsmith and um, think about doing the whole uh, where they cut the bolt, they turn it to the side, so you have a low bolt profile, and then they actually have to drill and tap the top, so I can actually uh, have a sight put scope mounts on here so I can actually mount a real rifle scope on here. Uh, you can actually put the different, uh, take off the rear sight, put the uh, uh, scout the scout scopes on, but the uh, eye to scope ratio, you have to get such a small power scope, uh, you're not going to be able to see out as far as unless you do the modifications. Uh, modifications are going to be a little bit more expensive, but uh, overall, this is going to be my long range rifle if I want to go hunting. And if I want to go bring down some big game, I can shoot a moose or whatever with this thing. This is 7.62 by 54R Russian. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to go out and take this out. Um, it's almost Thanksgiving, and so just to give you what time, what time it is. Uh, I will be going down to Missouri to visit my dad, and I will be firing this for the first time in Missouri. Um, me and 2C2's local gun range right now, uh, they are under some ordinance. They have to... Uh, redo their berms to shoot 30 caliber and above so you can shoot your AR-15s all you want because they're 22 caliber but you cannot shoot 30 caliber so I cannot even go to the range right now and shoot this but I will be going to Missouri where we have plenty of fields and uh, open pastures and pond banks berms and land out there at my dad's so I'm going to go and uh, have some fun with this um, I'm excited about it I love the stock it's good clean gun uh, again, you know, check out 2C2's channel. Uh, he, he, uh, whenever you talk about OCD gun cleaning, he's, he's like me. Uh, he wants to make sure his guns are in impeccable shape always. So, uh, you know, I, I have no no qualms. He come in, hand me the gun, I hand him some money, and I, was, I didn't even look at the gun first as I knew. I already knew. So, um, again, most of the gun. Um, then pretty soon, actually, I probably will not post this video until I go out and shoot it at my dad's, and uh, I'll let you see how she fires, and we'll talk about it. So you'll see part of this video from from Texas, 
And then you'll see another part of the video from Missouri. So, uh, so the Shaun of the Dead saying don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you shortly firing this gun. Hey everyone, this is Shaun of the Dead. Uh, told you I was going to do that Moses and the Gaunt video. Um, we're going to start off with this target. This is roughly going to be about a 40-yard shot. Just uh, trying to mess with a little bit. Just kind of showing you the uh, zombie here. Out here in West Plains on my dad's farm. And, uh, well, we'll see how this works out. First time shooting the Mosin the Gaunt. You saw my little prequel to it. So uh, here's part two. This is the uh, Mosin the Gaunt. Uh, this is about, like I said, about 40 yards roughly. Uh, first time firing it. So let's see how she works out for us. Okay, we're clear. Okay, now we'll go check the target and see what it hit. Alright guys, uh, looks like it's shooting a little bit off to the right there. So uh, we'll try another couple of rounds. I'm going to try to um, head in the aim just a hair. Uh, again, it was just putting the Marty Carlo stock, not set it in. So, you know, shot off a little bit to the right. So we'll give it another whirl and see what happens. Number two, I adjusted the sights just a hair, see if that makes any difference. Uh, try not to get too extreme on the adjustments because this is only 40 yards. So and we'll check it out. Okay. Made safe. Let's uh, check this one out now. Looks like my adjustment was uh, in, off the opposite direction. So I'm not used to open sights as much as I am for a scope. So uh, let's go back and put that the other direction here. Hey, all right. Let's, uh, let's try this again. I tried to move it the other direction a little bit. I was trying for torso shots before. I guess I want to go ahead and try for that magical head shot. Um, the, the elevation's about the right way. Uh, just the windage I'm having off here, so uh, let's we'll see what I can do about getting this uh, windage uh, situation cleaned up here. It's safe, and uh, let's check it out. Okay, well, uh, looks like I did get the elevation, or the windage going back to the right direction here. Just right above the other shot. So if I move that over a little bit more, I think I should be right on target. Shot or two more, and I should be able to kill old freaking Zed of the Dead here, and make him all dead. Hey, all right, guys. Uh, let's try that again. I uh, adjusted the uh, windage again, so uh, here we go. Safe, and we'll try that again. All right, guys. Uh, looks like uh, that's my last shot here. Looks like Zed is dead. So first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot, 40 yards, open sights. First time playing with my nose in the gun. I feel pretty comfortable as far as the accuracy goes. This is Sean of the Dead saying uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget subscribe.